The disputes I've got is with NatWest Home Insurance. The reason for the dispute is my house I've had insured with the NatWest Bank since 2003, since I first bought the house in November. Unfortunately, my house suffered a severe flood at the end of December in 2005. So naturally, like anybody would, I ran my insurance company. They arrived really promptly. The following morning, actually, they came out. And when they saw the extent of the damage, they just explained a few things to me. And the main thing was that there was two ways that the house could be repaired. The first choice was I could either take the money off the bank and organise for the rebuild myself, or I could leave it in their capable hands and they would organise for a project manager to be brought in and the house would then be rebuilt to the deadlines that I later received. So uh, because I was so stressed over what happened in the property, I decided to go with the latter and to trust my insurance company and I just left it to them basically. I left the house, I was advised that I would need to go to a hotel, which I did for the first few weeks and then right from the very first week I started to encounter problems. When I came across having to deal with the salvage company, that was an absolute nightmare. Basically they just take everything out of your property and then you're required to claim the stuff back. How that was conducted was awful. Before they'd even finished explaining anything to me, most of my stuff was out of the property and I was standing here arguing with them and, you know, screaming and shouting at them that things weren't listed. I've continued to argue with them for two years, nine months and all they're saying to me is we're looking into it and they still haven't sorted anything out. They took all of my clothes, everything, all my personal belongings. I did have a few items in the car because I've been away for a few days. I know like it's not a lot of damage in here, but the point is it's not finished. They've ripped the flooring off and left it up underneath the toilet there, so I can't lift the toilet out. They've taken an electric fan off the wall there where you can see those screws, screws there, but they didn't replace it, they didn't put one back. And that's an electrical job, so that's got to be put back on. It's just how they left it, radiators on the floor, all this pipe all lifted up for some reason. I'm guessing there's probably still water trapped in there. And that's why they lifted it up, so I've just not touched it. But as you can see, the radiators didn't never, they never get put back in. Boilers in here. I don't know whether the boiler ever got damaged. No idea. But um, I don't even know um, where they're up to with the central heating. All I know is I came when I came round, all the radiators were on the floor where you see them. And I don't know if that has ever been fired up since the flood. I don't know. As you can see, there's no floors down anywhere in the house uh, and they should all have been replaced as well. A light switch up there, can't switch it on. But you can see that um, the wiring has just been left really a bit risky looking there, unfinished. And I came back and all I had to get by with was what was in the boot of that car. And that was just enough clothes that put me over like the few days that I was away. And then the rest of the things were taken. They were supposed to be returned to me and laundered by the end of January. That didn't happen. The first of my clothes started to come back some 10 months later and they were drip fed back to me. Some of them were just bin bagged. A dressing gown, for example, was bin bagged, tied up, and a little label on it. And when I opened it, it was just covered in mushrooms from the dampness where they'd obviously stored it. And then, as you can see, loads of issues, 101 issues with them. But the main one was when they failed to meet the deadline. And then from that day, when they failed to meet the first deadline, which was given in writing May 2006, naturally I started to complain. And then it just got worse and worse after that. The more I seemed to complain, the more they were ignoring me. And I just didn't know what to do, basically. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. You know, I found myself in the thick of it. If you have a look across the road there, you can see all those brand new houses there. They weren't even built when my house flooded. They'd probably been designed, um, built and allocated as well in about a quarter of the time that it's taken to do the few jobs in this house here, which is ridiculous because all those houses are all lived in now and I'm still not back in this house. And then at some point in 2006, the contractor, CW Ren in Birkenhead somewhere, they contacted the NatWest Insurance and told them that the house was finished, but uh, no door handles on them. And so the NatWest Insurance have been left with a situation where they've been told one thing by the contractor and another by me. But as you can see from the footage, the house isn't finished. 
and I've told them repeatedly, I've emailed them, I've telephoned them, I've written to them, and they still haven't come out to have a look for themselves. They're just going with what the contractors told them, now it's finished, and as you can see, it isn't. And the saga continues. Two years, nine months, and an absolute nightmare that I've had to live with.